Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Please like the video, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and let's get right into the video. Guys, I am excited for the future. I am super excited because if you are investing in the stock market, you have your stocks, you do your research, you do your due diligence, you make sure you do everything you need to do to know that you're making the best investments possible. And whether you're being, you're doing dividend investing you're doing growth investing any any type of investing and you do your research and you know what you're doing you have your time frames and you know in the long run that you're picking out the stocks that work out best for you you have you've worked out your tolerance your risk tolerance and all that when the market goes down that's the best time the best time to buy stocks right the best time for example right neo is a stock controversial controversial stock right a lot of people don't like it be basically because it's out of china right but other than that neo is one of those stocks one of those companies that if you really look into it look into all the stuff that, that it's doing that other than it being a chinese company this company should be worth a hell of a lot more a hell of a lot more than what it is worth right now and considering that what's going on in china right now with all the problems that's going over gone going on over there and the that everything the unemployment and then they're basically in a recession or whatever basically the beginning of a recession that neo right now is probably in the worst possible phase other than when it was back when it was priced down here and this was when it was priced um to bankruptcy right and right now it's at ten dollars right and it just right now just had its best monthly deliveries and we may see a better monthly deliveries in august think about that right it's like one of the worst environments in china to buy to do anything at unemployment that I heard. I don't know if this is true. That I heard that there's twenty five percent unemployment and all that, all the stuff that's going on over there, and they're doing numbers like this. Imagine when all that slowly goes away, right? And Neo is putting up numbers like this right now. Think about that, right? Just think about that. Neo ten dollars. This could this could easily be worth a hell of a lot more, right? And if you look at even if you look at other companies, right? You've, I think this is the best one right here. If you look at Baba, Alibaba, this company is a two hundred twenty seven billion dollar company, right? And I don't know the numbers on this, right? I don't know exactly the revenue growth and all that stuff because I didn't really look at it. But I know that Alibaba should not be worth. 227 billion it could probably be worth two or three times as much two or three times as much and it'd still be considered cheap if it wasn't a chinese company right but since it's a chinese company it's worth what it is worth but before look at how it was before it used to be a 300 dollars 300 plus dollar stock right three back then back then and this is right now with everything that's going on right with china being down as bad as it is and of course it's a valid point right it's a valid point not to um to what's it called not buy a chinese stock just because it's a chinese stock right and that's okay sometimes people don't want to do that it's okay that's their choice that's not in their scope of well, uh, risk, right? Everyone does their own research. Everyone's you do do whatever you want to make be comfortable, right? You're investing your own money, and this can be involved with anything, right? I think Shopify also is just in the beginning, right? In the beginning, it just became it just got back to profitability, I believe. And once it goes, it starts going up quarter and quarter after quarter after quarter it's gonna keep improving i think shopify 
it's gonna start skyrocketing up slowly i mean what we've been seeing in the past with the this like i think this chart right here is gonna be how it's gonna look like for multiple quarters if we don't see anything any recession like huge recession that messes up the numbers but we're gonna start seeing a slow climb up we went from 25 to 70 in a couple months right in a couple months and even in a recession i don't think this baby is going to go back to 25 and that's the same thing with almost anything paypal though look at paypal paypal was at 58 dollars i think that's like a five-year low how much lower can paypal go like realistically right and we're seeing growth in paypal and paypal also another one that's five year low right five year low if it goes down to fifty dollars how much lower can it go than that right how much lower can it go i think the four pe is like stupid look at the pe right now 16 and it's a growth company that's doing almost double digits right oh double digit growth that's stupid doing pri priced lower than the market average and it's doing double digit growth that's unheard of. and if it keeps going down oh my god that's that's just crazy right crazy palantir palantir or is one of those stocks that we can see 5x growth over the next 10 years 5x right if we keep seeing it go down that's another one where i believe we can buy we have we would have to buy if it's a must i don't know what i would have to do i would probably have to start pumping up videos every day just to find another source of income to start earning some more money to buy some of these stocks and of course i will show you guys and my right now my biggest opportunity the biggest opportunity i think for my portfolio because i want to be a little more safer is tesla meta and amazon if i see tesla going under 200 freaking dollars if i guess if i see it going lower than 200 i'm gonna buy every single check every single check that i see that, that i make that i have left over if tesla's under 200 bucks if tesla goes to under one every time it goes under 200 bucks i'm gonna buy and i'm gonna keep on buying and buying and buying right if I can see it in the 150 range, I don't know what I would do. I have no idea what I would do to buy Tesla at one, like 150, right? At 150, right? With the growth that they're doing, the growth that they're doing, stupid. Stup easy money. Same thing with Meta. If I see Meta going under 250, low 200s, you best believe I'm going to buy every single share that I could buy. These three right here, Amazon, Meta, Tesla. My plan, if this recession hits hard, which I actually hope it does, so I can, because I'm still not really ready to like, my allocation in my portfolio is not like 100%, because I just started buying, I think last year, right? I'm still, I'm not even done building out this portfolio, right? I'm still slowly reallocating funds, right? Because I don't want to sell some of these babies at a loss. I want to kind of like add to these three to build out the portfolio 100%. Because my in my ideal portfolio, Tesla, Meta, and Amazon would be worth just as much as Neo and PayPal. They'll be worth in the $7,000 to $10,000 range. That's kind of like my ultimate goal is to have Tesla, Meta, and Amazon be worth about the same as uh, PayPal and Neo. Like it would be worth in between seven and $10,000. That's the ultimate goal. But for me to do that is I would have liked to see these prices go down. And of course, I would have to make more money. So the only way that we do that is if the market goes down hard enough for me to be like, okay, I want to buy Tesla. And the way in my price tar targets right now, Tesla needs to go under 200. Meta needs to be 250. Amazon under 130 or under 120. The, the lower it goes for Amazon, the better, right? Because, I mean, look at that. The highest is, I think, is 143. It's only 133, right? Right. And Amazon's been going doing very well. And I think Amazon will continue to do very well. I mean, we can probably see Amazon going back to 180. So even right now, pretty good price. The only problem is not enough funds, right? Not enough funds. And I'm not buying, I'm not trying to buy on margin. 
but yeah that's a quick update guys remember do your own due diligence i'm no financial advisor my risk tolerance can be different than yours and thanks for watching like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace